Yo guys, what's going on? Bots Channel here, back at you in another video. And today we have... Um... What's the person's name? Looks like... Ryan Sablehouse... if I'm saying that correctly. Volcanian Deckless from... Um, North American Intercontinental Championship. Um, looks like he got 6th? Looks like he got 6th place with this deck. Um... It's a pretty good finishing, considering that uh, everyone uh, kind of thought Volcano was kind of um, on the down downturn, uh, not being nearly as potent as it used to be pre Guardians Rising. Uh, he took a different approach. Uh, this is the Brooklyn Hill approach, which everyone knew was the thing. But uh, let's get right into the deck. Um, first of all, we got three Volcano EXs instead of four. Uh, we don't play Skyfield, so we do not have the bench space to have four Volcanoes, so we only play three. Um, if you guys don't know what Volcanian does, you discard a fire energy from your hand, and when you do that, your basic fire pump will do 30 more damage. And then the Volcanic Heat attack does 130 damage but for 3 energy, but you can't attack on your next turn. Oh, uh, well, that Volcanian can't attack on your next turn. And then you have two copies of Turtonator GX. Um, 190 HP, basic GX, pretty good stats. So, uh, the retreat cost of 3 does hurt, but we do play things to counteract that. Uh, Shell Trap for, two for double colorless does 20 damage. And during your opponent's next turn, if this Pokemon is damaged by attack or even if it's knocked out, you put 8 damage counters on the attacking Pokemon. So it's kind of like a Bursting Balloon with a body. Or better Bursting Balloon with a body. Um, if you discard two, if you use two Steam Ups with, in conjunction with Turtonator's Strell Trap ability, you'll be doing 8 damage for 2 energy. And then it's kind of incentivizing your opponent to not attack Turtonator or play something like a Lysander or Escape Rope to uh, get around that Shell Trap attack. Uh, and then Bright Flame does for 3 energy, uh, does 160, but you have to discard 2 energy from this Pokemon. Uh, pretty good attack considering um, it's not a great attack, but we have ways to make it work for us. And then Nitro Tank GX for single fire energy lets you attach 5 energy for cards, 5, ener five fire energy cards from your discard pile to your Pokemon any way you like. Um, this is pretty good as a late game maneuver if your Turtonator is about to go down and you just want to get those energies down to your bench, either your, ben your other bench Turtonator or down to your volcanoes, it's a great way to uh, keep yourself in the game. And then we play two copies of baby, uh, three copies of baby Volcanian uh, with the powder heater attack for 20 damage. You get to choose two to your bench Pokemon, attach a fire energy for cards we just with each of those Pokemon, so it lets us keep our energy moving around. Two top of with the for Wonder Tag to grab our supporters. And then we play a one one line of Star You and Star Me from Evolutions. Uh, if you guys don't know what Star Me does, it has the space speaking ability. Which lets you discard a card from your hand. If you do, you put two energy cards from your discard pile into your hand. But you cannot choose a card that you use, to use as the cost for this effect. So if you have, for example, if you have one fire energy in your discard pile and one in your hand, and you discard the one from your hand, you can't grab back that one from your hand. You have to wait. You have to grab. You only grab that one. So keep that in mind, guys. It's part of the effect. It's kind of not like Yu-Gi-Oh! Where in Yu-Gi-Oh! you could do that because it's a cost and you have to pay it no matter what. And Star with Starmie's ability, it's part of the effect. So you, it's like the... Energy card's not really in your discard pile until after the um, effect is done. Um, think of it that way, so you need to discard something else, uh, or have make sure you have two fire energy in your discard pile to grab it with Starmie. Uh, two copies of Field Blower to get rid of our opponent's tools and stadiums. Uh, two, only two copies of Max Elixir, you really don't need more than two I found. Um, I know most of us are used to running four, but uh, the t we have other ways of accelerating energy, so we don't really need the, f the full turbo of Max Elixir. Uh, one copy of Rescue Stretcher, just because. Uh, two copies of Switch. This is how we get around the uh, Volcanic Heat's uh, effect of where we can't use, can't attack, the Volcanic can't attack next turn. It's also how to get Terminator out of the active if you ever need to, for whatever reason. Uh, three copies of Ultra Ball. You don't really need four because we do play Brooklyn Hill. So uh, the three Ultra Balls are really here for the Tapu Lele and the Starmie. So you only need three Ultra Balls. Three VS Seekers, just because we're trying to play around uh, Garbodor a little bit. And then four copies of Brooklyn Hill to um, grab our basic fire fire Pokemon from our from basic water Pokemon, sorry, from our deck. So that would be our Star Use as well as our Volcanion. So this is kind of why we only need uh, three Ultra Balls because we can just constantly use this, uh, constantly use Brooklyn Hill's ability. We do play three copies of Light to take cheeky and easy knockouts off our opponent. Four copies of N for draw support and consistency. One copy of Olympia again to get rid of around this uh, effect. As well as the Turtonator's high retreat costs. Uh, four copies of Sycamore because it's the single best draw support that we have. Three Fighting Fury Belt. Um, the reason why you're on Fighting Fury Belt over Choice Band in this deck is that a lot of your Pokemon are kind of easy to knock out. 
If you don't, Volcanion gets knocked out by a lot of things easily. Um, Metagross knocks it out with uh, a Choice Band, but you also do knock out a Metagross and it returns, so that um, that helps in that matchup. Um, um, what else knocks you out pretty easily? Um, well, Nine Tails hits you for weakness, so that doesn't really like, count. Uh, what else is this do? Um, Coco can hit you with the Choice Band and a um, Kukui when Coco does become relevant again. Um, honestly, I feel like you could probably mix it up and try not playing the Fighting Fury Belts. The Fighting Fury Belts really are for the Baby Volcano because 130 is actually a really easy number to hit now. Um, Field Blower is a thing though, so always be careful with that Fighting Fury Belt. Um, make sure you don't leave yourself vulnerable to getting Field Blowered and get your opponent taking prizes off the Field Blower. Uh, two copies of Float Stone to get around Volcan Volcanian's, you know, um, Volcanic Heat effect, and as well as Turtonator's high retreat cost, and then 14 Fire Energy because we need all the energy we can get. So let's get some games in. I would I would love to find a way to fake a Kui in here because sometimes I find myself just short just a little bit of damage. But it's cool. Um, I think it's just more of me not piling the deck to its full potential. And let's see what we get here for a game. I've been getting some good quality games in with this deck. I've only been playing this deck today. I at one time had a, had a win, win streak of 5 until I hit a... Gold Duck deck. Yeah, Gold Duck. It's still a thing, guys. Uh, we lost the coin flip. Our opponent is going to go first. Mr. Chow's here. Um, we unfortunately give up Mulligan. Kind of weird because we I have never given up Mulligan on this deck before. Uh, we do start off with a Volcano and a Turtonator. Our opponent also gave up Mulligan, too, so. Um, that is cool by us. We're going to go ahead here and drop down our Turtonator and our Volcanian. Unfortunately, we do not have a Supporter or an Ultra Ball, which really does suck. Our opponent is going to flip over a... Okay, so we're playing its Vespaquin. Okay. I thought it might be Zoar Trampa, but it looks like we're playing its straight Vespaquin. This is going to be quite the grinder. We don't have a tech for Vespaquin, so we kind of need to win as fast as possible. Uh, starting off with Turtonator does suck though. I'd rather have to start off with the Volcanian to, take to uh, be able to attack out the, out the gate instead of waiting till two turns to attack. Who knows, maybe we can get a Baby Volcanian off the top here and knock out this Combi. Uh, looks like he does get the Zora, the DCE. Um, if we. He has the Force though. I'm not sure why he attacked the DC. He can't attack on his first turn. We don't. Ha we do not get a way to punish him, though. Unfortunately, we're gonna go ahead here and steam up just to get rid of uh, energy into our discard pile. We're not gonna nitro tank because that's a waste. Unfortunately, we're just gonna have to pass. Um, he's only gonna be hitting us for 40, though, which I guess is the upside. Um, if we can get one more energy down, one more energy into our hand, though, we can take a knockout on this Vespa coin. Because we can attach one to Turtonator for turn and then the steam up and get the knockout on the Vespaquin. Our opponent is going to Shaman for five and fresh cards though. He's just drawn like no other. Uh, maybe we should have Field Blower off that. Wow. I held the field blower because I wanted to get more value off of it. Um, I don't feel like that was quite a mistake. But we do get a steam up here. Uh, we're going to field blower off of it, off his choice band and his float stone. I mean, his field stone and his forest here. Uh, the forest is not really that. Doesn't really, we could have held that, but I feel like that was probably. stops him from getting. Uh, doing some revitalizer shenanigans. We do get a Lele, though, which is awesome. It's going to let us grab, like, a Sycamore or an N. Uh, depending upon what our opponent does here is going to depend upon what card I grab. Special charge, pretty basic here. Um, looks like our opponent did some... Ooh. 
Um, let's go ahead here in Lele, get a search in, and see what we draw. Our opponent just concedes. I don't understand why. Maybe because he attacked into the Turtonator. Let's go ahead and get another game in, though. Come on, TCGO. Oh, wow. I got... Oh, yeah, win streak. That's right. derp a derp Alright, second tier in the ladder. Let's go. Uh, looks like we're going against a straight water deck. Uh, tells me this is probably um, Greninja. Or maybe Ninetales Water Box. With no Lele. Uh, we won the coin flip. Um... Hmm. Let our opponent go first because I don't I want to see what they play and I don't want him to get a free attack in on us. Um that this hand's kinda horrible though. Maybe our opponent will be nice and end for us. Okay, we're playing against Gold Duck! Oh boy! Yay! Gold Duck. Is there is there ever a video I put out where I don't play against this deck? At this point, I should just do a deck profile on it because I've played against it so much. Okay, and Glaceon, um, not pretty bad start for our opponent because we don't, we actually, uh, actually, that's a pretty good start actually because we're weak to water. Um, let's see here. Go ahead here and Ultra Ball. Discard this stuff here. Uh, let's see here. It looks like we have one Volcanian EX prized, and our Starmie is prized. We're just gonna go ahead here and grab ourselves a baby Volcanian. Um, the hope is that we draw a float zone off the top here. Uh, we're gonna be giving up our rescue stretcher. Uh, let's see here. We're gonna go ahead here, drop the energy onto the baby, steam up, just in case we did get the switch out. Go ahead here and Sycamore our whole hand away. We get the Float Stone, which is what we're looking for. We'll go ahead here and retreat into our baby Volcanian. Um, let's drop a Turtonator and then let's Ultra Ball. Discard ourselves a... I don't know why Ultra Ball, the other Volcanian's prize. And the Starmie. Oh, wait, no. No, it's not. Oh, yeah. It's one's prize, not two. Um, bench the Volcanion here, go ahead and steam up. Next turn we can, um, go ahead and Tapu Lele for like a Sycamore or an N or whatever we happen to want. Go ahead here and put the energy down the Volcano with the Floatstone as well as the Turtonator. Gets the knockout onto the, oh. Crystal Ray. Let's go ahead and put this Volcano because it has the float stone on it. Um, I don't really want to end. I kind of want to Sycamore. And get ourselves as many possibilities of drawing a way out of this. We can put down the Turtonator. Do this right here. This will um, make it so that way if he wants to put damage onto our Turtonator, he's going to knock out himself. So if he does attack into us, he's gonna knock knock himself out and have to promote this man feet or whatever, or if he benches something else. 
I'm willing to bet though he's not going to attack. Yep, he is not going to. Um, I mean, I don't really want a sycamore. Same time, what do we do? Uh, we don't really have anything else that we can do here. Let's just go ahead and sycamore away this. Uh, we're gonna lose two, our two switches, which does suck. But we need energy to do damage, and we need to get some damage in onto this uh, Glaceon here. Uh, Max Elixir is pretty cool. Let's see if we can get hit. It. We do. Um, we could just get this Turtonator loaded up a little bit. Um, and let's just go ahead and steam up. We're going to be doing 30, 60. We only need to do 60, so let's just not let's just hold the other energy for now. And a concede. I don't understand today. People, don't concede. If you concede, you don't get anything anymore. You gotta play the game out. I have... God. Hopefully we get one game in where I can take six prizes or at least, uh... Get some definitely good stuff in here. Uh, fairy colorless. Um, Sylveon probably, definitely Sylveon actually. Sylveon probably, oh, I feel like would be a bad matchup. I haven't played this matchup yet, but with the way they discard energy. And we don't consistent. We're not like we're not medic rust. We don't uh, consistently recycle our own energy. Um, we're going first. We start off. Uh, let's just go ahead and bench the star. You, I guess. Um, we're gonna start off with the star. You bench the Vulcanian, and that's it. Uh, this is definitely, definitely Sylveon. So we're gonna want to have to, we're gonna have to save our field blowers for their silent labs to make sure that we do not uh, get locked out of our abilities. Um, most Sylveon builds are only playing two DCEs now. Yes, we'll take the extra card. Sorry, guys, we did some work while I'm sitting here. Uh, we get the Brooklyn Hill off the top here. Let's go ahead here and use the Brooklyn Hill. Uh, looks like we have our Starmie available. To, looks like none of our Pokemon are prized. Uh, we have one Max Elixir in our hand. We have a VS Seeker. Looks like we have two Sycamore, one Sycamore prized. Two Fighting Fury Belts, right? No, one Fighting Fury Belt. One Float Stone. Two Energy. What's the other card we're missing? Uh, not sure. Let's go ahead here and grab a Volcano onto our bench here. Um. Um, if we attach the energy, we can't. Go ahead and Lele. Grab ourselves an N. We're gonna drop down the Fighting Fury Belt, as well as the Max Elixir. Get that down. I want to try to hit a Volcanian, a baby Volcanian, in, in one energy. Uh, we don't hit the energy. Or the switching card. So this way, 
Sure, we're leaving our Volcanion up, but at the same time, he doesn't really have a way to knock it out. He's going to crushing hammer us, though, which does suck. Misses it. Going to grab the Sylveon GX. Oh, we do have the end, though, to in a matter of whatever he grabs. Handiwork. Oh, boy. So he hit our baby volcano and a fire energy. The fire the baby volcano does suck. We have two more though. Um we need to try to find a way to get energy down onto this volcano in here. Let's go ahead here and drop an energy onto this one, I guess. We could Brooklyn Hill. But I want to Brooklyn Hill though. It's Brooklyn Hill. Actually. Get our Volcano out of our deck. Why not? Let's go ahead and just steam up. We're trying to thin our deck. Try to get a switching card. Or Max Elixir. Or some. We just need to get stuff onto the board. Oh, we do have the energy for next turn and one steam up. Which will make us do 160, 170. We need one more energy in hand. For next turn. No, we don't. Why does it keep asking if I want to do this without ending my turn without attacking? I can't attack. No matter what I do, I cannot attack. Team Skull Grunt. No. Silent Lab. We have an N, or we have a Sycamore. Um, I think we'll N. Let's go ahead though and get a Lysander live at our disc for our VS Seekers. We're gonna grab a Starmie here. Um, we're gonna N first. So I want to keep that Lysander for a top deck situation later. Yes, we got the Field Blower. Actually, we don't really want the Field Blower. We want this. Um, we're going to go ahead and use a Space Beacon here to discard a... Discard a Baby Volcano because we don't really can't really use it. We grab ourselves the Energy back. Uh, this will let us do 170. 200 and knock out this Sylveon. Grab ourselves our two prize cards. Uh, I would I would love to see a see a switch there, but our opponent is probably going to play something like a Crushing Hammer or a Team Rocket's Handiwork right here or a Delinquent. That works too. Um, I think we're going to discard the Brooklyn Hills and the Fighting Fury Belt. Uh, the Fuel Blower is better in most situations. We can't use the Brooklyn Hills anymore. They were only going to be used to bump off our opponent's Silent Labs. So I think getting rid of those cards to, in order to get ourselves, keep our Fuel Blower and that one energy in our hand. Um, we're going to have to find a way though to um, either switch or... Um, I mean, he's never gonna really gonna attack us, as long as we keep. If we get the VS Seeker here for an end, we'll play N, because I'm pretty sure he's searching for a DCE now at this point to try start taking knockouts, because he probably realizes that he's not gonna win the long game against us. Um, unless he's gonna start trying to team Rocket Tandy working the crap out of us. Uh, we topped at the end, so let's go ahead and end.
Um. In past since we cannot attack. Our opponent scoops. Okay, guys. Well, that was three games. I don't want to make this video longer. Um, I'll try recording some games again later and show you guys some of the better ones. But so far, this uh, game has these games are really poor. I would say poor quality. Um, we didn't really get any um, anyone who'd stick it out against us. Um, the Sylveon player probably realized that he probably wasn't gonna win the attrition game against us, and we were just gonna eventually just gonna just keep you know steaming up and rinse repeating. Um, most people are only playing two in their list, sometimes three, and we got rid of one. And he probably realized that we still had two field blowers left, so that's probably why he could scoop there, or he doesn't have the patience to sit there and play it. Um, the gold, the uh, water box deck, um, he kind of screwed himself up by attacking into our Turtonator. Um, probably didn't have a backup attacker ready for in his hand. And then the first game we played against was... I can't remember, they just scooped so fast. But um, I'll try it again in a little bit, see if I can get some better games in. Alright, till next time guys though, if you guys don't see any of me doing some editing and stuff like that, you guys will know why. It's probably because I didn't get any better games in. Till next time guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think about this deck down in the comment section down below. Till next time, peace out. Make it Ray quite make it Ray. After that, uh straight up Loa Ninetales. And then after that, Decidueye, GX, other I assume that means some kind of